Hey guys, welcome back. This is a video about my teeth, the procedures I've had done, and I hope in a way like this video gives you like a good insight and a good kind of like, I don't know, advice video for you guys if you're ever thinking about getting this stuff done. I feel like on YouTube there isn't videos about the procedures that I've had done to my teeth, so I feel like I should just share with you guys my experience. I will also include videos and photos of my teeth um, before and after. So yeah, let's just get started into this video all about my teeth. I don't really know how to start this video. I don't know whether, do you want, I'll bring it back. Throughout my sort of early teenage years, I wasn't really an option for getting braces. Like my dentist, I've been going to my dentist, the same dentist for years, and he's seen my teeth grow. He's seen like changes within my teeth. And it wasn't really an option for me to get braces. Um, didn't really have a problem with my teeth, like it didn't really bother me, it wasn't like a main priority of mine. But I think later on I started to realise like certain things that I didn't like about my teeth. And I think since then I've been so obsessed with teeth in general, like I think it's the first thing that you see when you talk to a person. I had like a gap in between my two front teeth, these teeth here. The gap was very minimal, I mean it wasn't like something major, like I couldn't fit my full finger for it, um, but it was annoying because it did catch on things. Not even that, it was kind of me looking at myself every day and just seeing it. Even in videos and photos, um, I'll insert clips now, like you could see when I'm talking, like you can see the gap. And it just looks out of proportion, like I didn't like it whatsoever, it just made my teeth look so out of proportion. Um, so I wanted to know more about this, like I wanted to know if there was anything I can get done to cover up the gap. So I was just looking for like every possible solution. I was looking on YouTube actually how to cover up gaps in teeth or what's the best option to cover up gaps in teeth and then I came across this video of a girl, she had the same problem but hers was quite bigger than mine um, and the procedure was called tooth bonding, teeth bonding. I never really heard of this before so I looked into it, I researched and everything and basically it is putting in like a filling but then it's permanent. Um, it's literally just filling in a gap, filling in like a hole in the wall. Then the other option was like if it was like really bad it would have been veneers but then I didn't really want to go down that route because it was my gap was like really minimal. So I researched, watched loads and loads of videos on this tooth bond. I remember I went to my six month dental appointment to see if my teeth were all good and I asked them about it. Here, like, can you do anything about this gap? Like, I feel like I just want to cover it up, like I don't like it. He reassured me to the fact that he would try and do something. So I then booked another appointment, it was like two weeks later. So I went in and obviously lay on the chair and he had to put me like really flat so he could really get a good look at my two front teeth and I obviously had like a mouth guard in as well so he can really get a good look at them. He was really really comforting in the way he was going to do it because I didn't like I was nervous enough like I didn't know what to expect from this. It was like my first time because I didn't know if he had to fill in two teeth so we just filled in I think the right one. It wasn't sore whatsoever it was to at one point it was uncomfortable like it was a really weird sensation on a scale of one to ten I would give it about an eight of like being okay. Started putting in like the filling bit and then obviously had to harden the, the filling with the light I like, I'm gonna say like a nail file but it was like this thin like it was really really thin and he literally like the file like right up in the gap like I mean like right up to my gum and I was like oh my god I felt like my two front teeth were gonna come out like it was really 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 weird feeling I've had no problems whatsoever and it's been great that cost me 45 was it 45 um I can't even remember I think it was like around 45 50 pounds for the tooth bond which I thought was bomb so if you feel like you want to cover up like minimal gaps in your teeth just to make them look more fuller like do it like get a tooth bond it is amazing um even just ask your dentist about it because i know for sure like it's not a popular like procedure that gets done in the dentist so i highly recommend any kind of tooth bond it's amazing I feel like everything does happen at the right time in your life do you know what i mean so I'm really, really stoked and happy that I got it done. This is like my next thing I got done to my teeth. So I got laser teeth whitening. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the color of them now. To your appointment of laser teeth whitening, the experience um, just lying there for like an hour and a half with like 
you're my fill of bleach and the light. I mean, it was something, I tell you. So for the teeth whitening process, I had to go for two appointments. First appointment is to see if your teeth are healthy enough for the laser treatment. After the examination, I then had to make another appointment for the actual two hour appointment. This price includes the home kit that you get uh, to take home. The gels, the bleach, and then the appointment before, and then the two hour appointment, and the total came to £280. I mean, some people, when I do tell them the price, they're a bit like, whoa, like that's a bit expensive. But then I feel like if you want something done, then do it. Like, money shouldn't be. A problem it shouldn't have to involve in something that if you want to get it done you get it done you worry about the money later I was like really really excited and um, probably the most comfortable part was putting in the mouth guard and then literally like stuffing my mouth and I mean stuff I mean like he like stuffed my mouth I didn't feel sensitivity whatsoever, which was kind of odd for me because my teeth are really, really sensitive. So I had four rounds um, of the laser treatment um, just to keep applying gel every 20 minutes. And then after the four sessions, he literally just grabbed the mouth guard and like pulled everything out of my mouth. It felt so good. My mouth and lips were literally so, so dry. And then after everything, and he actually did it before as well, I forgot to mention, he did a shade test of my teeth. Um, I went from a 4.0 to a 2.0 and the brightest shade was 1.0. So I was pretty stoked in that. So the home kit you get is pretty good. I'll show you guys. It comes in this sort of cool packaging right here. Philips Zoom Patient Take Home Whitening Kit. But you get two um, gels. I've got one left, it's like nearly done. I'm gonna say mouth guards. I don't know, are they called mouth guards? I think so. And a really cool wee like container. And then your teeth. And basically, I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial, but you just apply the gel in like the mouth guards and then you just hook those bad boys up in your teeth and I would keep like the gel in for a good, I try to keep them for like a good hour to two hours depending on how much my gums can take. But yeah, that's what you get in the home kit. Will I get more stuff done? Probably. I mean, I think once you start, you can't stop. It's really addicting. Well, this one isn't too bad, but this one really annoys me. Like see that that just kind of like sticks out from the rest. I don't like that. So I just want these to be all the same length as like my two front teeth. Um, I feel like I just wanna get like, a, I think it's called a tooth extension. I don't know. But other than that, I am good. I'm all good and I'm really happy with what I've had done to my teeth. If it's gonna make you happy at the end of the day, why not? I don't even like worry about it no more because I've had it done. So if you want something done, just go get it. Always remember to smile, be kind to people, have PMA and don't let the negative people get you down because you're way better than that.